production of Chats News. I'm Miyu. And I'm Sean. Here's the news for Wednesday, the 29th of April. Home-based learning will continue throughout May, and the HBL site has some new additions. The counseling team has created a website with lots of great resources for students. It contains primary and secondary resources to help provide ideas on what to do during HBL. It includes proactive self-care tips and various strategies to deal with stress or anxiety. The counselors hope you can take some time to check it out. Also on the HBL site are the resources from the library as well as how-to guides from primary parents using Seesaw on Google Classroom and Chromebooks. To check it out, go to hbl.chatsworth.com.sg. Last Friday was Chatsworth's first virtual concert. So far, almost 200 people have watched it. Congratulations to all the students involved. You're all very talented. If you missed the concert, you can find it in our YouTube channel, the same channel you're watching Chats News. We'll be back with more Chats News in just a moment. Four things to think about when posting videos on school platforms. First, what is in the background? Is there anything behind you that will be on camera that might be embarrassing or inappropriate? Have a look around and then re-watch what you've recorded before you send it. Second, are you dressed appropriate? Is what you're wearing appropriate to walk into school? No, not pajamas. Third, are you speaking clearly? Take your time to be very clear in how you speak on camera. Fourth, is the camera still? It is important that the camera is still so your teachers can see what you want to show them. Talk to your parents about these tips and keep them in mind when you are creating videos for school. Remember to be a good digital citizen by practicing these digital safety tips. At Chat News, we continue to connect Chatsworth community in an interview series we're calling Chit Chat. Good morning. When did you first arrive at Chatsworth? I first came to Chatsworth seven years ago, so this is my seventh year of teaching at Chatsworth. I taught at the East Campus first and then moved over to Bukatina. How long have you been working in education? I've been working in education for 12 years now. I taught in Wales for my fi first five years of teaching before coming to Singapore. Why did you decide to become a teacher and what are some of the roles you had throughout your career? I taught EAL, English as an additional language, in um, South Korea, which made me really want to become a full-time teacher. But some of the other roles that I've had um, throughout my career have been working in a restaurant, working in an ice cream parlour, which was my favourite because we got free ice cream, and some childcare services. What do you enjoy most about working at Chatsworth? What I most enjoy about working at Chatsworth is the community that we have. I really love that we're a small school and I know most of the students' names. I have quite a bad memory for names, so I'm quite proud of myself for that. Um, and I can also really connect with a lot of our parents, so that makes it feel like home for me when I'm so far away from my real home. What would you like to say to the Chatsworth community? I would like to say to our Chatsworth community to stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you back at school very soon. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Tomorrow is house shirt day for secondary students. Yes, even in HBL, we can still show our school pride for our houses and wear our house colors. So get your house shirt ready and wear and where to earn points. Full details are in the daily chatter. And remember, your house is the best. The Red Dot Book Club with students from both primary and secondary met with famous author, Helen Norup. 
On Monday, the 27th of April, the students of the Red Dot Older Readers Book Club at Chatsworth International School Bukit Timah, Singapore, met with famous author El Nora via a Google Meet video call. This meeting was organized as a special initiative of the school because of the ongoing lockdown in Singapore and Switzerland, where El lives. It was incredible to have a talented author from another part of the world to make an appearance in our virtual classroom and inspire us to read more and expand our knowledge and inspiration. The students talked about their interests and asked her several questions. Among the many highlights of our interaction, there was one moment that really stood out. That was when Kai asked for advice Elle would give to budding writers. Miss Nora patiently explained in this video clip a lot of i mean if you if you write fantasy it 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 just has to be really believable the story you create right everything has to connect together fantasy adventures and for, i particularly like the kind not 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 the high fantasy but but what you could call low fantasy which is where you have part of the real world and then there are magical elements l is the celebrated author of three books two of which are published, or about to be published. One of her books, The Missing Barbegazi, has been chosen for the Red Dot Book Awards. Here is what some of the participating students thought about the event. And she was really kind and sweet to us. She spoke to us about different things, about her new book and about her life. And then, yeah, she was really kind to us, and that's what I really liked about her. All in all, this interaction was a truly enjoyable and inspiring experience for the students. This is Makshida Jamal from Year 6, reporting for Chats News. Now it's time for the weather with Jimmy Bob Billy. And tell us, Jimmy Bob, what's the weather going to be like for the rest of the week? Hi, I'm Billy Molly Bob. I'm part of Floor Gang. And as well, I am I'm going on strike. I'm not, I'm not going... I'm not, I'm not going to be a weather reporter anymore. You know why? Because you don't respect me. I'm known as Jeff, Bob the Builder, Millie Bolly Mob, Billy, Billy Bolly Bobby, and then Dobby. Do where do you get Dobby? Dobby's from Harry Potter. And I need respect, okay? So until I get the respect I rightfully deserve, I am going to be leaving Chats News as the... So bye bye. You won't see me ever again until you call me Billy Molly Bob or Billy or Molly or Bob. Okay, just that by itself. Bye. Thank you, Bob the Builder, and that's Chat News for Wednesday, the 29th of April, 2020. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around school. Stay safe. Bye.